Which resin printer has the highest user recommendation? Which has the most mechanical failures? Which company has the worst customer support? With your help, I can answer these questions and more. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, you know I love 3D printing. You know I'm always happy to review new models and give you my honest thoughts and feelings. And some haven't always been popular with the companies concerned. But as a reviewer, I can only go so far. I hear comments from people all the time saying things like, this printer is the best ever. And transversely, this was a complete waste of money. But I can't do anything with this information. Or rather, I couldn't until an idea came to me whilst reading some viewer comments. So I locked myself away for the best part of a fortnight and eventually came up with this. No, not the website that's been there a while, but the part of it that follows. If you've owned a 3D resin printer, I want you to please visit this website and complete the following online form. It should only take a couple of minutes and you're not signing up for anything. No nasty newsletters or what have you. This is purely about collecting data that will eventually benefit us all. Data that will allow us to answer the questions I asked at the beginning of this video and more besides. Let's run through a typical example. Let's say I have a Mars 3 Pro. I'll hit the little Eligu icon. I know, yes, it's an online form, but I've tried to make it as easy as possible to fill in. At this point, if I've selected the wrong make, I can click this green link at the top and select another. But as it is, I'm happy with Eligu. So, I need to select a model, and this list should contain them all alphabetically. And there's the Mars 3 Pro. Now, if old Vogman has missed a few models, maybe yours isn't listed. In which case, hit this red link here and add your model. But again, in this instance, I'm fine. A valid email address is required, but it won't be seen or made public. However, it could be needed to validate your entry. So only use valid email addresses or your input will count for nothing. Country may seem a strange one, but it could be a useful thing for comparisons. Have you experienced mechanical failure? Excluding human error, has a part broken off or failed, etc. In the vast majority of cases, this will be no. Have you ever contacted Eligu customer services? And again, for the majority of us, I think this will be no. And now there's one of those annoying I'm not a robot recaptures to complete before clicking next. This is vital, which is why I've tried to make it ever so slightly eye-catching. Because if you don't click the recapture, watch what happens. Oh dear, all your data is lost. Yes, I could have fixed this issue, but I've put a lot of thought into keeping this database as clean as possible. So fill it in honestly and carefully and you'll be good. If not, your data will just auto-delete. This is the last form to complete, and every question must be answered unless it's marked as optional. So, build quality. How do you rate the build quality of this model? Is it well made? Does it fit together well? Are all the materials of good quality? Where 1 is terrible and 10 is excellent. So, this is your chance to score your personal opinion. I'm going to say 9. As for me, the Mars 3 Pro is great, but there's always a little wiggle room for perfection. Print quality. How do you rate this? Now, this again is important. I'm not interested in your failed prints here. Just about every failed print is down to supports, an on-level plate, or poor print settings. What I want to know here is, when it prints correctly, how is it? Does this 35 micron printer match your expectations? Well, I'm giving this a 10. Usability, are the menus clear, does the touchscreen work, etc. And again, I'm going to give it a 10. Noise level, 
Again, this is a subjective thing. I can hear mine, so it's not whisper quiet, but it doesn't deafen me either. So I'll give it a five. And finally, would I recommend this printer based on my overall experience? And of course, I would, and in fact, I did. I can add a few comments if I wish, but this is optional. So I'll say, great little printer. Remember the all important recapture and submit button, and that's it. We've got a thank you screen and the job's done. Without my explanation and waffle, that would have probably been a minute's work. But there's valuable information here for the printing community. But hang on, you say. That was all well and good, but what about the problems? We want to hear the nasty issues you Nambi Pambi reviewers never disclose. Ah, well, those are in there too. If we whiz back to the start again, it's all about the selections I make. So model, email, location, blah, blah. And now we have these two options. Have you experienced mechanical failure? Well, let's say, yes, I did. Have you ever contacted customer services? Again, we'll say, yes. This time, as I go through to the second form, there's a little more to fill in. It starts with the same build quality, print quality, usability and noise level, but there's now this green section. You stated you experienced mechanical failure. Did the printer arrive with this? Were parts missing? Was anything broken? Well, in this fictional example that I'm going to remove from the database later, I'll say yes. Now it wants a description of that mechanical failure. There's a 200 character limit and the form looks out for bad language and special characters. So none of these please or your data will likely auto delete. So I'll just say screen arrived cracked. Now there's this blue section. You stated you contacted customer support. Did you find it easy to contact them? Some companies are terrible to get hold of, I know, but Deligu is pretty good. So I'll say, yes. Did they rectify the issue? Well, let's pretend in this fictional example that they didn't. So I'll click no. How quickly did they respond? Again, it's subjective but I had a bad pretend experience, so I'll say four. How was the communication? Well, again, some companies can blind you with science and confuse the hell out of you. So I'll pretend score it at four again. Skill level, did they know what they were talking about? Well, my guy blinded me with science, so he must have been pretty knowledgeable, so I'll give him an eight. Now I get to describe the whole experience. Again, without swearing or using special characters. So I'll pretend customer services waffled forever and never resolved the issue. I had to buy my own replacement screen in the end. Very disappointed. And finally, again, the recommendation. And this time I'll say no and add below this, printer works great, but customer support was a terrible letdown. Again, it's critical that you click the recapture, otherwise your input will be lost. And of course, you must hit that submit button, which so many seem to miss for some reason. But if you do this, it's saved and it's added to the database with thanks. And again, just for Eligu's benefit, I will be deleting that pretend example from the database. So I hope you can see how valid this information is. With 10 examples, it's pretty useless, but with 10,000, it would be an amazing resource. Now, I've already received input from a lot of my viewers based on my community post, but unfortunately, so far, it's mainly the people that are complaining. Now, whilst these guys are very welcome, we need a true representation of people's printing experience. Surely, at least 90% of all the buyers must be happy. Otherwise, if they weren't, these companies would go broke. So the data must reflect this. Thus, if you're delighted with your printer, head here and complete the online form. If yours is just okay and you can take it or leave it, then head here and complete the online form. 
And if you've had a terrible experience with yours, then head here and complete the online form. Once there's a reasonable data sample there, I can produce some realistic data for everyone to see. There's no catches or strings. I'm not doing this to make money. I'm genuinely doing this to support a fair and unbiased view of 3D resin printers for the benefit of the printing community. This data will help you make informed decisions on future purchases about build quality, performance and customer services. It will also make companies sit up and take notice. If we can statistically prove one company outshines all the others in terms of customer support, or worse, maybe one consistently fails, then you will be able to see this and so will these companies, forcing them to try harder, increasing overall customer satisfaction and product quality. Or at least that's the lofty goal. So come on guys, give me your data. Spare me two minutes and share this video with as many people as you can. Once this video goes live, I'll be sending an email to Makers Muse and Uncle Jesse, asking if they'll lend their support to this issue. And hopefully we can bring in a few more high-ranking YouTubers. Let's improve this industry even further. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you can see the point behind it all. So take care and thanks for watching.